Hello and welcome to the Mint Report, a wrap up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. UB seeks shareholders not to bring fresh funds to Kingfisher. 4G operators can also offer voice services for a fee. And the Sensex marginally recovers from 2013 lows. In a last attempt to save the stricken airline, United Breweries, the parent company of Kingfisher, has decided to seek the shareholders' approval for a fund infusion. Last week, lenders to Kingfisher had threatened to recall their loans. The UB Group said it is looking to increase the amount lent to 750 crore rupees from 300 crore rupees. At the same time, it also wants to reduce the investment limit to 750 crore rupees from 1200 crore rupees. Late last year, the UB Group had announced the sale of a majority controlling stake in United Spirits to Diageo. The shares of Kingfisher were up 5% to close at 10 rupees. The Telecom Commission has allowed the companies with broadband and ISP licenses to pay a fee and offer voice services. The Commission has said that BWA and ISP companies can offer voice services on payment of 1,658 crore rupees. This move is likely to help Reliance Industries to come back into the voice space. RIL is the only company with BWA spectrum across the country. It bought 95% stake in Infotel broadband for 4,800 crore rupees in 2010. Though RIL has not been able to launch its services yet, it plans to roll out services in 2013, at least in Delhi, Mumbai and Jamnagar. It is the only company in this space which has a broadband license and also offers voice services. After hitting a 2013 low last week, markets gained as underperformers like LNT rose. Stocks are expected to be range-bound until the union budget is presented on 28th February. The Sensex rose 32 points to end at 19,501 points, recovering from its lowest close since 31st December 2012. The Nifty rose 11 points to end at 5,898 points. The gains were led by a pickup in shares, where selling was seen as overdone. That's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.